Hello everybody, Eamon and Storm here, and welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we began setting up a Steratite mine over here. Our first Steratite mine, actually, in the series so far, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, we got that all loading in here, and we began moving Steratite over to the depot here, where we're going to eventually feed the ore processing areas with raw minerals to create the refined ores so get to work on that now in between episodes I went ahead and uh, did some work on the existing mines the Bobmonia mine up here and the Rubite mine here um, basically upgrading a lot of the mining drills to Mark IV drills so that we can ramp up the output and so far oh there we go turn that on it's you know we, were, we have like a full single blue belt coming out of these mines at the moment i mean i could do what i did over here with the stereotype and upgrade them even further and add in a, a doubled belt uh, not impossible to do that might look into doing that at some point, um, but um, for right now it should be fine. And I went ahead and I actually set up a train for Bobmonium to begin moving Bobmonium into the depot here. So we are starting to transfer Bobmonium over here. Um, I kind of let things run for a little bit because we're now full in these warehouses. Um, these warehouses are starting to fill up, and uh, let's see how we're looking here. We're still transferring across there. So, um, I was looking at this because I know I was looking at the end of the last episode, trying to determine where it is that we were actually going to start getting a lot of this stuff from, and just kind of noticed that you know we have another rubite deposit here. We have. A crotinium deposit there. We have a sapphire deposit there. Um, the only thing we don't have over here is jivalite. So I've gone ahead and just decided this is going to be like one of our major mining complexes. So I've gone ahead and renamed this the Mining Complex Alpha. Uh, we also have thermal water here that we could probably eventually start gathering as well. We may need to expand this parking area. Uh, to allow more trains to queue up if it looks like we need it and um, yeah that's uh, looking good and we'll probably want to come down here at some point to clear out some of these nests so that we can begin um, kind of exploiting this area as another mining complex so we got some jivalite down there and I was looking around trying to decide where the Jivalite is going to be that we're going to be gathering first. And I think that this particular patch of Jivalite right there is probably going to be our best bet. Um, it's far enough away from everything that we shouldn't have issues with pollution spilling into the into the nests down here. Um, I mean, we could I could drive down there and wipe those guys out, no problem if I had to. But uh, that should be good. We can like extend the rail line here, set up a bit of a loading uh, area around here, and then start mining that particular Jivalite deposit. And then start bringing trains across. Uh, or I could even bring... Actually, it might be a better option to bring the train down from here. So we're gonna have a lot of a lot of things here and I might make another refueling depot kind of branched off of here uh, that might be a good idea you know a lot of things that uh, we kind of have in the plans to do but what we kind of need to do first is get this hydrofluoric uh, acid going and to do that, we need the fluorite ore, first off. And so I went ahead and I manufactured all of the components that we are going to need to begin making this ore. At least 
for this. Anyway, we got the, the ore sorting facilities, the flotation cells, um, the uh, the ore crushers, that sort of thing. Now these are going to need crystal catalysts, so we are going to have to actually bring in some sulfuric acid. Um, or we're probably going to do this close enough to this that I could probably just directly hook this sulfuric acid production area into uh, this whole thing. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Because how much sulfuric acid is this going to be consuming? 137.5 per second. Like how many... It will consume the output of two of our chemical plants. We have a lot of chemical plants. So, yeah, and this should be fine. And besides, this is also going to output uh, sulfuric wastewater, which we can cycle back into that system. So, we'll be making, you know, so overall, um, this will actually... I don't think it'll completely fuel itself, but it'll definitely offset a lot of the uh, the cost required. So the issue is just going to be this crystal catalyst, which we're going to have to get as well, which I didn't even really... Because we're going to need some crystal seedlings. So we're going to need to do crystal ceramic filtering. Which means we're gonna need some crystal slurry. Which means we're gonna need some crystal dust. What are we gonna be? We're gonna be producing cyan geodes and yellow geodes. Eleven point five. We're only gonna be producing seven per second. We're gonna need eleven point five per second. Okay, so that's going to slow things down slightly. This won't be able to sustain itself in that regard. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and get this started at least. And we are going to go ahead and do this over here. Let me just get that out of there. I do kind of want to keep this coal patch cleared or clear. All right. So first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have our rubite and steratite coming in, and we're going to need to send it into ore crushers, and then we're gonna have our crushed rubite and crushed stone. Uh, crushed stone is gonna have to get dissolved uh, into... Now, I don't think I can convert mineral sludge into crystal sludge. I know that I can convert crystal slurry into mineral sludge, but I don't think I can go the other way. No, I can't go the other way. Okay, but we are going to need this to kind of be dealt with at some point. We're going to be putting out 7 per second. 
We're gonna have to dissolve it. We're gonna have to um, then filter the slurry. We're gonna have to then turn that into catalysts. So yeah, yeah, we we got a whole process. We're gonna have to set up for making catalysts and then distributing catalysts out where it's gonna need to be. So we may be doing that like up here for catalyst processing. All right. But first things first, we need to figure out how we're gonna lay this out. And the question is going to be, do I want, do I want these, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, splitter filtering. Right, we're going to use splitter filtering. Okay, so we're going to have, all right, we're going to have our, I think we're going to have our steratite come down like this. All right, and then we are going to have our... We're gonna say we're gonna be crushing steratite ore. Come on, there we go. And then, let's see, could I use a substation just to make things a little bit simpler here? Okay, we may need to move that at some point. Okay. Now I don't necessarily want to use filter inserters because I mean I could use filter inserters, but okay. So we're gonna have everything coming out this way. Everything coming out that way. Uh, I mean, it would be probably better to use. To use loaders. That complicates things. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Um, I think I'm going to need splitters. Hold on. I need more concrete bricks. Don't know. Titanium bearings. Maybe glass. Not so sure I need the glass right now. So bring me some express splitters. Just to make sure that I have those. All right, and then we're going to need a filter splitter. And what we're going to do is we're going to have an output priority left for the crushed steratite. So then the stone will continue this way. 
Steeritite's gonna get looped that way. Stone is just gonna come out here and uh, go wherever stone is gonna go. We'll figure it out. All right, and so, we're gonna have the same thing here. We're gonna have an output priority left for the crushed, crushed rubite. Right, and then you, you're going to come out that way. Uh, stone is going to come this way. It's going to get blended in there. And that means we're going to need this doing this. And so I'm going to need... Loader, 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 splitter, splitter, and then ore crusher, ore crusher, ore crusher. Okay, and then you're going to be crushing rubites. There we go. And so then the rubite input. is going to be like that. And there we go. So, uh, let's go ahead and feed this thing. And I'm not exactly sure... I'm totally going to handle this, but, you know, uh, for now, we're just going to use a loader. We're going to pull out there. We're going to pull out there. Uh, we're going to bring actually, we probably want to bring this underground, give some room there. There we are, and then, oh, wrong way. It's gonna come across here. Get underground there. Let's see. Here tight. And there we go. Okay, so stereotypes coming in, we're crushing it. And volume looks fine. Okay, good. All right, so now we need to bring the rubite over. to do with the with, do the sapphire at some point um, all 
But I mean, the exact order that these belts are in really shouldn't matter all that much. Out of belts. Well, fortunately, here comes the belt delivery. Okay. Quick. Uh, what we should probably do is create some buffer silos. Um, Yes. Output, output. Input, input. Just so that these guys can get running. Now, we're also going to need a buffer silo for... Well, we're probably going to want a buffer warehouse for stone. Um, we'll deal with that uh, eventually here. So, let's go ahead and put you in this one. Okay, yep, stone's all clogged up. Okay, so next stage is going to be then taking. We're going to need to crush stereotype, we're going to need some purified water. Hmm. The question becomes... Do I want to hook into this purified water output from these guys to feed this? How much purified water are we actually going to need here? 343.8 per. So we're going to need a total of 902 per second purified water. I think we're actually putting out something like 4,000 per second over here. So, yeah, I think that would work. We hook into the purified water output from here. We create a second one. And use this. Or the other option is we create a an independent source of purified water. Which... Uh, the only way we could really do that is basically making more of these. So, like, for example, if I said, okay, I want purified water, we could say this. We would need, what, five of those to produce the purified water we would need. Then we just need to deal with the saline water uh, output.
And then the question would become, where would we actually get the water from? I mean, we could get it from up here. But, you know, what I could, what I could do is... This huge water purification plant, it's expandable. We can just keep on adding in and expanding this thing this, you know, this way as we need it. So I, I think we'll just go ahead and connect in. And that should be fine. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right. I need to move that rock. And so I think we're going to want to do... Is I am going to want an output here. That I could use. So... Get a pump. So there is our source of purified water. All right, good. And then we're going to need 10. 10 of these flotation cells for each of these lines. send that this way I think I was gonna put let's see how big are these flotation cells they're fairly large all right so we have inputs purified water outputs uh, sulfuric waste all right so what if I did it like this Now, how much per second are we dealing with? 13.8. Blue belt should be able to carry plenty. Uh, go ahead and foot, set this with tree and rock filter. Uh, get the construction bots tearing away all those trees. So that was what? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Let me put three more in here. Just need to get these trees out of the way. All 
I'm gonna st they're gonna they're gonna flood me. They're gonna flood me with with wood. Okay. Um. Okay, so that should be ten, right? Okay, and so we're doing stereotype hydro refining. And yes, I think this will work. We have our input, we have our output, Single inserters should be fine. Well, these we will have to modify so that some half of them are oh, are offset near. There we go. Ah, it's getting dark. Let's see, can't get some light over here. We're probably going to need another couple of substations for power. So it's like we're going to need another one. Okay, so. Do this like this. For purified water input. Okay, now we're starting to get output, and that output has geodes on it. Alright, we're going to have to deal with that. And then we're going to do the opposite here. We're going to send the sulfuric waste out this way. Sulfuric waste there. OK, 
Okay, and then sulfuric waste, ultimately, is going to get piped. Let's see. That should be a good spot. We're gonna have to probably do a little bit of a jog in the pipe here. Ah, here's actually a good place for that one-way valve that I manufactured. Non-return valve, that way, right? So that I can put that there. Right, so then it should push into there, but not flow back, so it doesn't clog up this pipe. So there we go. Okay, so that is now pushing through. So we are actually starting to produce sulfur off of some of that sulfuric waste. Now, of course, we need to deal with um, we need to deal with the stone. We need to deal with the geodes. But we'll work on that, I think, later because we're getting at uh, to the end of the episode here. So. We will continue make uh, continue this uh, construction. I think when we come back next episode, because then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to split off the geodes and send them. Might route them like this. Uh, send them north. Uh, we're going to have to send them somewhere where they're going to get processed and turned into catalyst. Um, maybe this whole area here, because this is a lot of space. We have a lot of space here. This whole area here, we could use for geode and uh, stone processing. Because stone processing isn't going to be that complicated. It's basically just dump it in a warehouse and then feed that into stuff that dissolves it, filters, you know, dissolves it into slu into sludge, filters it into slurry, and then converts the slurry into catalyst. And then, same thing, we're going to have to have a set of crushers for the different types of geodes, crush the geodes into dust, dissolve the dust uh, into slurry, filter the slurry, uh, I'll put the slurry, or uh, I'll put the sludge, and then turn the sludge into catalyst. So I think I think this should be enough room for that. I hope it will be, because I want to kind of reserve some of this space to expand uh, the water purification facility here, uh, in case we need more purified water. So. Yeah, we will continue working on this when we come back next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.